Hi, it's Matt, and today what we have here is a really nice Squire Standard Series guitar. I think this is probably from the early 2000s or the late 90s, I'm not quite sure, but I think they kind of stopped doing the Squire, just plain old Standard Series like this. Uh, here we got the Standard right there. Uh, I think I remember seeing these in the Musician's Friend Catalog probably around 2004, but it could be earlier than that or later. It's an HSS pickup combination. This one's green. I'm trying to get a good shot of it. It's kind of dark in here. It's kind of hard to see the green color of it. Okay. I hope you can see it. Maple neck. We have a vintage style trim. This guitar is really heavy. And uh, what I like about these, this trim, are these, it's kind of like a, like these little blocks here, which is nice because uh, this guitar is basically modeled after a 70s Strat. It's really heavy. And this is the type of uh, block bridge you'd have on a 70s Strat. So if you wanted to be devious or be a cheapskate, you could just change the decal and from a distance it would look pretty accurate except you'd want to have a bullet truss rod here but i don't really need to do that because i i own some real 70s strats uh, 70s strats get a lot of hate from various sources i don't really agree with that uh this one's really heavy just like a real 70s strat uh this one I think that these frets are pretty big. I'd say they're kind of on the jumbo size, kind of like a Strat from the early 80s, which were, was basically the same style as the Strats from the 70s, except in, I think in 81, they went to bigger frets. I have a 1981 Strat that has bigger frets than the ones from the 70s. Uh, has nice flame on it, look at that. Uh, this one's crafted in Indonesia. The action's really low on this, which I really like for practicing unplugged and for trying new things. But I tend to think that lower action sounds kind of harsh when I'm putting it through a lot of uh, effects and stuff. But I'm going to keep it a low action. I have enough guitars to where I can just have them set up for different uses. Uh... How I got this guitar is I traded an electronic drum set for it because it was just taking up way too much room and I want to have a space to do better YouTube videos. So we're going to try this guitar. What's nice about this HSS configuration is that you still have the two and four positions as noise canceling. Sometimes when a guitar is modified and people just throw a humbucker in there, you lose the noise canceling positions, which is like my, it's like the quintessential Strat sound to me. Uh, let's see, it basically has a vintage amount of frets, which I forget how many that is, but you can tell just because uh, a modern day American Strat would have an extra fret, but this is still true to what they would have in the 70s. Got two string trees. Let's just get some more shots of that flame maple neck. It's extremely heavy. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that's heavy. Let's take a look at the contour on the back. Let's see, I'd say it's pretty uh, thin contour. Not as thin as like a 60s style Strat contour. Uh, maybe I should could bring one out and compare it. I like the guitar okay. This is, it's not like the greatest guitar in the world, but I'm really impressed about how straight the neck is and how low this action is. It's definitely a wider, chunkier neck. And the radius seems fairly flat. It's probably like a 12 inch radius or something like that. It just seems more flat. Definitely wide, definitely chunky. And, uh, I'm going to be getting nasty with it as usual, and if you've watched my other videos, you're going to hear some of the same licks, so please bear with me. Uh, 
who knows what I'll do with this. Maybe I'll try to do for more of a Hendrix type of sound with it and get really nasty. <sighs> but anyways, I hope you enjoy what I do with this Strat. And thanks for watching. <laughs>
right, so this is the Squire Standard Series. I think it sounds pretty good with the distortion delay. Uh, I feel like the pickups sound kind of weak on the clean channel, but I have to do a direct comparison with another guitar. Jack needs to be fixed. But anyways, I'm Matt, and thanks for watching my channel. I really appreciate it, and I really, really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. You know, I heard that some people make a lot of money on YouTube, but I'm just doing this for fun. But anyways, thanks for watching.